year growing up black's a kid. Celebrate Chinese New Year with these adorable sock plushies. Find everything you need at Walmart and get the details at gublife.com. To make the sock plushie, you will start off with the body. Grab a cozy sock and fill it with some of the fiber. Once filled, go ahead and cut the excess off and be sure to secure all of the stuffing. We will be closing off our little body with a running stitch that goes just around the trim and once you pull the string together, it closes it off really nicely. Once you've secured that the hole on the body has been closed, you wanna secure that it stays closed by doing another quick running stitch all around and finish it off with a couple of cross stitches. To hide the string, once you have completed the closing, put it through and pull on the string and cut it off. Now it's time to distinguish where our head will be. Using felt, I cut out a little rectangle and I rounded it off to make an oval shape. Now using the ladder stitch, you're gonna secure your head onto your sheet. Be sure to secure it with some pins so it doesn't move. When using the ladder stitch, be sure to pull tightly so that the thread is hidden under the felt. Once you've gone all the way around with your ladder stitch, make sure to go in through a hidden spot under the felt and out through the body and pull securely to hide the thread. Let's move on to the ear. Using felt once again, cut out a rectangle, fold it in half, and cut two rounded triangles to get the ears the same size. I then took the remainder part of the cozy sock, about the heel size, cut it in half, and placed the felt over it to make sure that the sizing was right. There was a little bit of excess on both of the ears of the cozy part of the sock, and I went ahead and cut those off, and those will be used for our tail later on. Make sure to secure the felt onto the cozy sock using the pins. Now the best way to secure the felt onto the cozy sock is by doing a back stitch. Since we will be flipping these inside out once the back stitch is completely done all the way around the ear, leaving the bottom portion open so that we can flip it inside out, you will need to start the back stitching on the outer side of the cozy sock. You will then trim off the excess of the cozy sock and flip it inside out. And there you have your little ear. Repeat this step so that you have two little ears. Do a quick stitch to keep the ear folded and do not remove the thread. You will be using the same thread to attach your ears onto your plushie. To attach the ear, do a quick ladder stitch around. I like to do at least two rounds of the ladder stitch and pulling securely every time to ensure that not only is the thread hidden, but that it is securely attached to my plushie. Once your ear is attached, do it one more time to the other side and you're ready to go. Let's move on to four little feet. Using the remainder of your sock, fold it in half, cut it in half, and while still keeping it secured in your hand, start cutting off a round shape for all four of those layers. This will equal four little feet. Now using the same running stitch method that we use to close the body of our little plushie, you will be using that same method to do the feet. Pull the string once you have gone all the way around while keeping your finger in to leave room for the fill. Once you have filled the little feet to your liking, make sure that you keep the same consistency of stuffing, whether it be soft or very, very stuffed, for each of the legs. This is important because if not all of the legs are the same, your little plushie might be lopsided. Repeat this step four times for four little feet. Now it's time to attach our little feet. Place two in the front and secure with a pin. This will give us an idea of where the little feet will be. Now using the same stitch, the ladder stitch that we used to attach the ears, we will be using for all four of the little feet. Start off with the ones in the front and move on to the ones in the back. Remember those small rectangles we cut out for the tail? Now it's time to use them. Place the rectangles on top of each other and using thread, we're gonna be using the back stitch. You're gonna back stitch all the way around 
on three sides of the rectangle, leaving one side open for us to flip it inside out. Once tail is inside out, attach it the same as you did the ears by using a tight ladder stitch. Now it's time to get our face on. We will be using an embroidery stitch, but before we can get started, use a disappearing ink marker that's great for sewing projects like this one to draw your face and then go ahead and stitch through your thread. The magic behind an embroidery face is to start off under the felt. Since we've already sewed on our head felt, we will need to go through the side and come up right at the nose. We will be using a back stitch for this embroidery style face and you will use one thread to go through and do the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. And going through the same area where you entered, you will be closing off your stitch. Once the face of your plushie is complete, now it's time to decide if you're going to keep it a sheep or if you're going to be adding horn for the ram. To make the ram horns, you will need felt once again, and this time we're using long rectangles. You're going to fold them in half or thirds if you can and secure them using pins. Once you have securely done the whole strip of felt, you will need to create a ladder stitch to secure the felt onto each other. Once that is complete, you will be removing the pins and rolling it like a cinnamon roll. To secure that your little cinnamon roll horn does not come apart, make sure that you go around it through the back side where it's showing the most thread and secure it with a quick ladder stitch. Once you've done this for both of your little horns, secure them onto your ram near the top of the head above the ears, just like you did with the ladder stitch up on top near the ears there you have it your little ram is all done now aren't these cute what a great way to celebrate chinese new year with kids thanks so much for watching make sure to head on over to growinguplexican.com to get the complete list of supplies you will need to make your own sock plushies from walmart